I'm back with the review of the SMSL idea which is a high res as you can see there USB amper DAC which I see as an upgrade to something which is this I reviewed previously but this is cheaper but I'll, I'll get to that in a bit yeah so it's a USB amp DAC micro USB obviously for data and power and all that stuff and obviously 3.5 millimeter headphone jack I prefer that connector over this one so if you, that was plugged in your laptop and if you get if that gets tugged you can either break that or you can break the port but this version is way better because obviously if the cables plugged in you know like so you know it's way that's what it's, yeah it's quite tight there you go so if something gets tugged so it's flexible so I, I prefer it that way instead of it obviously, obviously outputting the full the full USB jack so yeah let's get to what this is like let's get out yeah let's get straight into sound it sounds clear transparent it sounds very similar to this one but that one you have to control the volume in Windows you know whether you like it or not they both have ESS Cyber DACs in them this has got one that's a level up and I, I like that this has got volume on the unit which is way easier so in my situation I maxed in Windows 100% set that down to minimum and then I use that as the range for volume and it works perfect each step it's even sensitive for uh, earphones I tested the KZ ZS10 Pro which are around 30 ohm impedance I think and I've tried it with the KZ AS10 which are which are very sensitive and it works fine so the, the steps works perfectly fine I'll quickly go over the full frequency so you can do all of those if you can see but one thing it doesn't state is the output impedance, which is only 0 0.4, which is really good for earphones. Which is, you know, I'm surprised they don't add that. But yeah, and that's the colours of when it's in use. Most of the time it's blue. But obviously, obviously you can see it's going to either be blue, purple, or red. I have tried it this with a DSD. 56 file and it played it fine um i don't know i don't i just tend to stick with flak because it's way easier but yeah it plays perfectly fine and i tested this with the hardest to drive headphones which i i have are the hi fireman he4xx which are the the mass drop variant i may i may or may not review them but there you go those badasses playing our power but um yeah and, and, and it pushes them perfectly fine not a problem so if you've got conventional headphones this is probably all you need i'd recommend this for so like with this one i recommend it for people with laptops if you've got a desktop there's probably better these better solutions to be honest but for, on the go these are what you want really for um you know, for a laptop because this destroys onboard audio and my own laptop has an issue where you can hear like you can hear the electrical like static and noise through the headphone jack and plus for some reason one of my channels I think the left channel doesn't work at all so this is my high quality fix for that or that one but yeah so I was gonna say comes with three wires which I said in the unboxing full size USB to micro which is good for computers and these two are for OTG cables so yeah type C micro USB micro to micro my phone doesn't support OTG so I couldn't test them unfortunately but if you're using this through a phone, this is going to sap the battery life off your phone or tablet. So that's one thing 
to be aware of. And when you're using this, it actually gets quite warm as well. So I guess it's a class A amplifier that they've used inside, but yeah, this gets quite warm. And I think that's it really. Do I recommend this? Uh, yes. Is it really worth four times the price of the original one? Well, I'll leave that up to you. It's around £60, I think, and, more, and the DAC audio is around 16 something, so roughly four times the price. I like this, what, this one more because it's got the volume control on the unit itself. The noise floor is also super low. So I do recommend this. It's a great little portable, you know, USB amp deck. There's no battery inside, so it's all powered through the cable. And this one needs drivers, which I'll link in the description from SMSL's website. It uses, an, it uses XMOS drivers. Well, I'll, I'll link in the description, very straightforward install. And the DAC audio one didn't, didn't need them, but it was limited to 24 bit. 96,000 hertz. So I'm out. Thanks for watching and yeah, useful device but obviously I'd recommend you for laptops. For desktop use, there's better options out there. Oh, well, more, exp more expensive options as well. But yeah, this should work fine. So I'll be back soon with another video. Catch you later.